Hey art friends, today we're celebrating the Lunar New Year. So what are we drawing? A tiger. Yeah, a tiger. We hope you're gonna follow along. You need your drawing supplies. We're gonna use markers. You also need some paper and some colors. Yeah, you ready to start? Yes. Let's first draw our lion's face. We're gonna draw the letter U in the middle of our paper, but maybe towards the top so that we have room for the body. So we'll start here. I'm gonna draw a U shape. Comes down like this, around, and then back up. Now let's draw the ears. We're gonna draw an upside down U right here. It's kind of sideways, we're at letter C. And we're gonna draw that same ear shape on the right side. Then let's connect those two ears together for the top of the head. Nice, and we can also draw circles inside for the ear. Let's also draw a circle over here for the other ear. Okay, now let's draw the tiger's face. We're gonna draw the letter Y for the nose. We can start here and draw a V. And then a line down to finish the Y. Oh, let's draw the top of the nose also. And then let's draw two lines coming up from the nose. We're gonna draw on the left side and also over here on the right side. Then let's also draw a curve that comes out from the left side of the nose and curves down. And then let's draw that same curve on the right side. We'll draw it coming out and down. Let's also make our tiger smiling. We can draw a little smile, comes down and then back up. <laughs> That's awesome. Then let's draw the eyes. I'm gonna draw a circle about this size on the left and the same size on the right. Let's draw another circle that's smaller in the top left to make our tiger's eyes look shiny. And then let's color in the big circle but leave that little circle white. What's our tiger missing? Stripes. Stripes, yeah. Let's draw a sideways V right here on the cheek. And then we could do another one right above it, maybe a little smaller since it's close to the eye. And then let's do one more above that one. Let's draw those same sideways V shapes or sideways triangles on the other side. Got three of them. And then let's color in those shapes. Now we're ready to draw the body. Let's draw a letter U. I'm gonna start here, around, and then come back up. Kind of like what we did for the head. We're gonna draw our tiger standing up and holding envelopes, lucky envelopes. So let's also give our tiger a shirt. We're gonna draw the waist or the bottom of the shirt. Then we could also draw the belly, our tiger's belly. I'm gonna draw a little curve underneath the shirt. And then let's also draw a little collar. And we could also draw a line straight down the middle of the shirt. Let's also draw the legs. We're gonna draw another letter U right here on the left side and one over here on the right. And then we could also draw two little toe lines on each foot. Let's also draw a sideways V on the left leg and a sideways V on the right leg for stripes. Then we can also color those stripes in. Okay, now let's draw the arms. I'm gonna draw a sideways U coming out to the left like this, but we can draw it a little bit longer than the legs. And then let's do the same thing on the right side. We'll come out, curve around, and then back in. Then let's draw the sleeves to our tiger shirt. Draw two lines coming down. And then let's also draw a little stripe on the arm, we could draw a letter V and a letter V over here. Then let's color in those triangle shapes. Then let's also give our tiger a hat. We're gonna draw an upside down U or a rainbow line. There you go. And we could also draw a smaller little rainbow line on top. 
What else should we give our tiger? A tail. Oh yeah, it's missing a tail. Let's start here and we'll draw an S curve that comes out and then curves the other way. One way and then back the other way. And then let's make the tail thicker. We can draw another curve that matches right next to it. And then right at the end, connect those two curves together. Then let's give our tail some stripes. I'm gonna draw a line here for the end of the tail. And then let's draw, well, I'm just gonna make a thicker stripe here and we can color in the end of the tail too, like that. And then let's give maybe two more stripes to our tail. You could even give another stripe if it needs an extra one. That's perfect. Okay, let's do one more thing and give our tigers some lucky red envelopes. I'm gonna start here and draw a line that comes up from the paw. And then right here, I'm gonna draw a shorter line that comes out to the side. Looks like a letter L. And then let's draw another line that comes up that matches the first one. And then at the top, we can connect those two together. Looks like a big rectangle shape. Let's draw that same rectangle shape over here. So I'm gonna draw a line that comes up. And then we'll draw a shorter line coming out this way. Then let's match the other side and then connect up at the top. Awesome, we did it. We finished drawing our tigers. They look super cool, except we're not completely done. We still need to color it. Yeah, this part will fast forward, but at the end, you could pause the video to match our same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. We're almost finished coloring our tigers. They look really cool, except we need to add a few extra decorations. We have our gold pencils, which these are metallic gold pencils. They're really cool. And they draw on top of the red. But if you don't have these gold pencils, that's okay. You could just use orange or maybe a yellow color. And I thought it would be fun to add a little line at the bottom of our red lucky envelopes. And also maybe a stripe up here at the top. Now you could change the decorations on your lucky envelopes. You could maybe draw a little symbol in the middle. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna add a little shape here in the middle. But you could also just draw a circle. You could draw, maybe a, just a circle. That would be a little easier. There we go, that looks cool. I'm gonna draw that circle on this side too. Do you know what's inside lucky envelopes? Money? Yes, money. It wishes you good luck for the year, the coming year. I'm gonna add a little stripe to the bottom of the hat and then also maybe color in the top of the hat. Ooh, and then also a stripe to the bottom of the jacket down here. I love these pencils because they go right on top of the marker, but you don't have to use markers to color pencils. What else could our art friends use to color their drawings? Crayons. Yeah, you could use crayons. You could use color pencils to color the whole thing. You could even use watercolor or oil pastels. I'm gonna color around the collar like this, and then also color a stripe on the end of the sleeve. Ooh, we could even add buttons to the jacket or the shirt. I'm gonna add a little circle on each side, maybe two on each side, like that. And could even connect those buttons. I'm going fast because you don't have to color yours exactly like how we're coloring. You could change it, right? Yeah, I'm gonna draw three buttons. Oh, I like it. Awesome, we did it. We finished drawing and coloring our tigers, our lucky tigers. I like how they look all colored in. Yeah, me too. I hope our art friends take time to color their drawings also. You can pause the video right now to match our coloring. Or you can color it any way you want. Yeah, you can even add more decorations, like lanterns and maybe even more tigers. Yeah, or even fireworks. Oh, fireworks in the background would be super cool. And don't forget to add the whiskers. Or well, you could also add eyelashes if you want. Yeah. <laughs> we hope you have a lot of fun drawing your tiger. And we want to wish you a happy new year. See you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.